Hello everyone and welcome back once again to another edition of a Polynerdic Playtest. We're taking a look at Everybody's Golf. The game's been out for about four months now. Uh, I'm playing it for the first time this weekend though and I thought it was worthy of a, a playtest here. Uh, this is my third attempt at this. Um, the first attempt it was recording but it showed that I was playing Player, player Unknown's Battlegrounds uh, which was misleading as fuck. And uh, the second attempt, just as I was starting the golf tournament, the the stream or the exp or the excuse me the PlayStation disconnected from the Twitch server. So let's try this again. Uh, this Greg Miller looking some bitch right here is my avatar. It's as close as I get to to uh, myself. I'll show you characters here. I've got one for me, one for my girlfriend who has not yet seen her character yet. Um, nor has she played the game. Get your standard stuff, you know, your face silhouette, hairstyles, you know, stuff like this, you know, um, mouth glasses, all that stuff, and then, you know, get your body type, uh, ch children are included in this game, which is weird, um, uh, a point of note is that, uh, I actually quite like golf video games, even though I can't stand the sport, the game itself, in real life. Uh, I don't have the patience for it. Uh, but I do enjoy uh, games like the golf mode, or the golf area in Grand Theft Auto V. I played a hell out of it. And I uh, also played a shitload of the golf on the, on the Wii. Uh, with the motion controls. This actually reminds me a lot of that because it's not a serious golf game. There's some arcade-ass functions to it. Uh, starting right away with this overworld here where you can do crap like this. Um, talk to people, run into them, explore a little bit if, if you want, although I haven't really found anything worthy of exploration just yet. It's a, it's a goofy arcade game. Ar Arcade-style golf game. Uh, very similar to the, the Wii U Golf, minus the motion controls, because it's on the PlayStation 4. Um, <clears throat> I have, do have one small complaint, and it's a very small complaint, and that is the uh, the store here has microtransactions in it, where you can throw, you know, money down for these things. I'm not sure, quite sure what you're paying cash for here, but um, I think these might actually, yeah, these are actual golf courses that you pay money for. So I guess in a way you could consider these DLC. Uh, I'm not sure what these are worth. Or that, for that matter. This stuff here I don't mind at all. This is in-game currency that you get from winning. Um, winning stuff, you know, winning matches, tournaments and whatnot. Um, some of the stuff's brand new, wasn't here 15 minutes ago. So that they've... Const they appear to be frequently updating stuff. Like, none of this was here. All the stuff that's flashing new, none of it was here when I was just recording a minute ago. So, they're frequently adding new stuff. See you again. So, that part's cool, you know, for your character customization. But the golf itself, let's get to that. Since, if you're watching this, that's probably what you're here for. As I said, this is a, uh, arcade ass game because if you see right there the second option down is tornado there's multiple different style of cups on the courses uh, there's the regular size and then there's the mega cups which are a little bit bigger and then these are the tornado cups so we're gonna do this tournament the tornado cups actually have like a vortex around them that all you gotta do is get near the near the hole and the ball gets pulled in uh, all sorts of stuff here you know, you can change your clubs and your ball. Uh, I just go with the standard stuff because I, I don't really have any preference. And then I've got two caddies. So let's go with this guy because I haven't used him yet. We're and let's get to it. To load times are a little long when you're loading into a tournament. Um, they do a nice thing, though. You'll see shortly. Right there at the bottom of the screen, the shot practice. You hit it once to start it, once to stop it, and then once for your impact. The closer to the center of the impact bar, the better you are. 
like the better your shot will be. Like that's a perfect one right there. And then your clubs have levels. You you know you get experience for your clubs as well. I've only played a little bit of this. As you can see, I'm only ranked two, so I, I'm 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 really not great at it. Hold ten. Par five. Say not great. Not horrible, but not great. That's a little better. Okay, I got the nice shot that time. As I said, the tornado cups. All you gotta do is get within the the uh, pull of that vortex, and you you're guaranteed to get it in. Which makes putting really, really, really easy. So I've got to do better, everybody. It's par four. This kind of annoys me the way that everybody tees up together. In your clubs. Yeah, see, I'm, I overshot it. That's bad on my part. I could chip it in, though. That's the beauty of the tornado cups. No see? <laughs> It'd be real impressive if I did no it for way. real. You made that Tied with a child. It's a par three. Impressive. Ah, too much. Too much. I had a whole nice. one there. Oh, that's bad. Solid approach. You got so that was when you, you flub the uh, you the impact bit. That's a good start. Oh, good. Good Let's keep this up. All right, she parred too, so we're we're still tied. Four Thirteen. It's par four. I really enjoy this game though as it's it's not overly serious and it's it's not a super stressful golf game uh, like uh, the more uh, realistic sim style golf games are your Tiger Woods and your McElroy's and all those Ugh. Still irritated when you screw up, though. Whoa. 
real easy to get the birdies with the tornado cup. Wow. Step. Done and done. Wait, nice birdie. Not bad, I suppose. Hole 14. It's par four. Okay. Ah, oh, I swapped that bad. What? Yeah. What's that, that like? cost me. Nice shot. Good. We go? nice shot. She's probably gonna pull in the lead here though, because of the, because of my nonsense. Unless I nail this perfect. Sweet shot. Ah, oh, she's in the bunker too. That'll that'll that might help me. Alright, still ahead of her. Then screwed up completely. Hole fifteen. It's a par three. Ah. <sighs> well, see where that goes. Huh? You're clear. Let's see if I chip that in. Make it count. You got this. It's up the hill. Breaks right, I'd say. I got for the tornado cup. Steady as she goes. Oh, I pulled in the lead. Hole 16. It's par four. But yeah, there's just something pretty relaxing to this kind of a silly take okay. on the sport. I would have liked to have uh, chipped it in from way back there. That would have been nice. Hole in two. No way. I think that one would have went in without the tornado cup. No way. You made that one. Seventeen. It's past four. Two stroke lead now. <laughs> nice shot. Nice shot. Great shot. Ah, getting close. A little bit of control there. Go for the birdie. Take your time. Looks Clear uphill. You may birdie. A damn tornado cop helps me out so much. There was a tournament, a one-on-one -on -one match that uh, got me out of rank one to rank two that had auto impact, which drove me nuts because it, it took away, the, which I thought was pretty irritating. One, two. 
Last one. Hole 18. Like oh, you fine. get used to the rhythm of the triple, the triple hit. You know, start it, hit the distance, hit the impact. So when it took the impact away, it kind of threw me off. Nice shot. Nice shot. Oh. Nice shot. Nice shot. <laughs> Great shot. There. Nice shot. Oh, hell yeah. Whoa. So. A hell of a way to end this tournament with an eagle. Granted, Whoa. less impressive because of the tornado <laughs> cup, but. That's a pretty decisive victory right there. Killed it. Straight ahead. Oh. A grand result. And then after every tournament you get this screen. It gives you your stats. XP. Now see when you get that bar maxed out it gives you the match play with a a named character and then you when you beat them you have to beat them typically by three holes it seems at least all the ones I did for rank one where that you had to you had to go up three in order to win against them and then when you beat them you got all their all their stuff all their clothes all their mannerisms their voices all that become available to use nice prize nice yeah see that's the stuff I won for th winning this tournament here nice great play, well play. Fine work. I think I, I think that'll do it for our look at uh, everybody's golf. There, I mean, it's it's not a perfect golf game, but it's a hell of a lot of fun if you're not looking for something serious like, you know, the ones that EA puts out every year. Um, uh, like I said, as someone who spends a lot of time in golf modes and in open world games if they're available, like in Grand Theft Auto V, or who enjoyed Wii Golf, you know, back in the day, played the hell out of that with the kids. Uh, this was the perfect thing, and it was on sale currently on the PlayStation Network for 20 bucks instead of the 40 it usually sells for. I think it's a steal at 20 bucks if you like these sort of things. But uh, that'll do it for now. Uh, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time here on the Polynerx Poly channels. Excuse me. <laughs>